Speaking of Gomery, yesterday, Senator Patterson of no fixed address was the latest senator caught doing the Mike Duffy shuffle out the back door. Seems you can't turn on a TV without catching a senator running from accountability. So much for the reform. We now have 17 senators refusing to say if they're even eligible to be in the Senate. 15 of them were personally appointed by this Prime Minister. So, how many are under investigation? How much money have they had to pay back? Are there going to be consequences for ripping off the taxpayers? And will the Conservatives stop defending the entitlements of these senators? <laughs> or, or, order. Order the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Transport. Mr. Speaker, because that question has already been answered, let me take occasion to celebrate some non-fiction Canadian literature that's just out. I'm reading a page-turner filled with political intrigue, backroom dirty deals, and blatant hypocrisy. And the starring character is the member for Timmins. Oh, no. The title is the Independent Electoral Boundary Commission for Ontario, and it says of him... This was the first hint of what the Commission considers to be inappropriate involvement by the Member of Parliament in the electoral redistribution process. Why don't you explain that? Order. Order. The Honourable Member for Timmins James Bay. Trying to stone me. Order. Order. The Honourable Member for Tim and James Bay has the floor. We need a little bit of order. The Honourable Member for Tim and James Bay. Well, Mr. Speaker, trying to stone me to death with popcorn doesn't change the fact that it's their senators who are under investigation and the Canadians are fed up. So, speaking of conservative patronage run amok, an arrest warrant has now been issued for Arthur Porter. Oh. Charged with fraud, conspiracy to commit fraud, fraud against government, breach of trust, money laundering. Mr. Porter was personally chosen by this Prime Minister to be the chair of the Security Intelligence Review Committee. So, what's with that? When will the government come clean about their relationship with Mr. Porter? Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. By lecturing on ethics, that member is making great progress in his effort to make the world a safer place for hypocrisy. I read right here from this report that says of him, this was the first hint of what the Commission considers to be inappropriate involvement by a member of Parliament in the electoral redistribution process. Mr. Speaker, it's clear that Charlie's no angel.